We are back. It is time for another Rants and Review. This time we are checking out Trivial Pursuit, but not your regular Trivial Pursuit. This is the Dungeons & Dragons Ultimate Edition. Uh, this is from the OP games, or the OP games. Uh, it has six character, sorry, six categories. Uh, magic and Miscellany, History, Monsters, Dungeons & Adventures, Characters, and Cosmology. So you've got a lot of variation. If you are a huge, huge fan of Dungeons & Dragons, whether it be the rules, the lore, or just playing the game, this looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's open it up and let's see what comes inside the box. I love the artwork though, by the way. Kind of gives you an idea of the characters you'll we'll be playing with in here. All right, so we have six movers. We have a game board, 300 cards, die, and some wedges. This is just a protective piece, I imagine. These are the cards right here. You've got your die, your wedges for when you earn your points. And then here are your movers. We'll go into those in a second as well, but let's check out the board. Oh, love that new board. And it lies pretty flat. That's pretty good. Okay, so you your marker's indication where you're landing on. Very, uh, like, I want to say, not, maybe dungeon, maybe like a tavern style. Very kind of cool. I love that style for that. Um, then we have our actual player pieces. And by the way, the wedges go on the board around the outside of your player piece. Now here we have a mind flare. Uh, like we have a skull, we have a mimic. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. I love the mimic. Uh, Albear got a gelatinous cube, and we got a beholder. Now all these are grayscale. I would imagine if you want, uh, as long as you tape down the base, you should be able to paint uh, these miniatures if you want. Uh, that would be kind of cool <laughs> if you're really into that. But those look super dope. I love. The gelatinous cube. I love the Mimic the most. If I was playing, I'd want to play as the Mimic. Um, but let's look at the cards and let's read out a couple of them and see um, what the game has in store for you. Alright, so you got your answers on one side, your question on the other. Makes it really easy for the person. Um, so a question like this, we'll do, um, let's do history, yellow. Which D&D loving, which d, &D loving heavy metal band has songs that include Chain Lightning, Second Wind, and The Levacious Underdark? The band is literally named Gygax, well that's appropriate. <laughs> uh, let's do another one, let's go actually into cosmology. Hogs in bed rolls, everything soup, and chicken something dumplings are a popular recipe amongst which humanoids? Well, that seems easy. That's going to be the halflings, right? I mean, any of those halflings are very hungry kind of creatures. And then let's check out, um, let's do characters. Which kind of animal does Xanthar, the beholder crime lord of Waterdeep, keep as a pit? A fish. The name of the fish is is Sylgar. <laughs> so these are um, these are tough ones. These are definitely tough ones. I can't imagine all of them are going to be as tough. Yeah, these are going to be tough. Um, these are definitely going to be tough. Wow. Yeah. These these are. Because this is an easy one. Okay. Uh, which school of magic does spell animate dead belong to? Keep in mind, this one here is a magic miscellany. Uh, this is, of course, necromancy. That is probably an easier one. Um, getting some of those history, uh, dungeons and adventures, and monster questions might be a little bit difficult for the the non-initiated into the world of Dungeons and Dragons but this is really cool especially for any like hardcore fans and you know you've got a hardcore D&D fan in your life so this would be a fun game to play of course that would give them 
quite the advantage around game night. But hopefully this has been helpful. Hopefully you like this. I think it's really awesome and amazing. And we will see you guys next Friday.